You know, a lot of people ask, why doesn't Ford make a minivan? Well, because minivans. You know, when my wife and I got together, we had this kind of running joke. I wanted to have 12 kids. She wanted to have one or two. So we figured if we met somewhere in the middle, we'd have a happy life. But one of the things you got to consider when you're having a family and or you're just maybe the town taxi and you've always got a lot of people and kids in your vehicle is how do you get a comfortable vehicle that's going to seat six, seven or eight people? Well, I'm happy to announce that, of course, we do have a few options for you. If you're like me and you don't really want to drive a minivan, but you're going to need to have room for a lot of people, you're going to want to check out one of these options. So here's a minivan. This is actually a Dodge Caravan. I'm pretty sure it's still the number one selling minivan on the market uh, with a lot of close competitors, the Toyota Sienna, the Nissan Quest, the Chrysler Town & Country. And hey, I understand they're gonna be suitable for some people. It's a good option. You can put lots of people in them, they're comfortable, they're relatively safe, relatively fuel efficient, but I gotta be honest with you, they make movies kind of dissing dads driving minivans for a reason. I mean, take a closer look and I think when you really get down to it and you compare this to an SUV that can hold the same amount of people, it's gonna get similar fuel mileage, maybe even more of a utilitarian type vehicle and a good solid SUV, you'll probably agree with me that you should at least consider the SUV option that's gonna hold six, seven or eight people just the same as a minivan will. Option number one, the Ford Flex. This is Ford's cure for the modern minivan. Ford designed the Ford Flex to replace the minivan. Ford had the, the Windstar and the Freestar and all these different types of minivans and wagons in the past. The Ford Flex replaced those in the last handful of years. Now, I've got to admit, for most people, the Ford Flex is kind of a, a love it or hate it uh, vehicle. The styling is gonna to appeal to some, it's not gonna to appeal to everybody. I happen to like it quite a lot. You take a look at the vehicle, it is very modern with a lot of traditional styling cues. Very common with a lot of Ford's vehicles nowadays. And I gotta admit as well, it's also one of the most comfortable vehicles you can drive. This is widely known amongst sales managers and sales professionals at Ford dealerships as the Jaguar of the Ford lineup. One of the most comfortable vehicles on the road, period, is the Ford Flex. Not to mention, you can get it in a six or seven passenger setup. One of the things you're gonna appreciate about a lot of these seven passenger or eight passenger options in the Ford lineup is the ability to have the third row as a chair or some extra storage capacity. Both options are obviously gonna be beneficial depending on what you're needing the vehicle for. If you're a weekend warrior that needs room for five or six, but obviously wants some extra storage, or if legitimately you need to put six or seven people in the vehicle, the Ford Flex will do the job and do it efficiently. And you can get it fully equipped or you can get a relatively base model. Naturally at Key West Ford here in New Westminster, we've got new and used. Come down and see us and we'll put you behind the wheel for a test drive that is bound to impress you. Option number two, the Ford Explorer. In my opinion, the quintessential SUV. Now, luckily the Ford Explorer comes in a number of different trim levels. From a base model all the way up to a Sport or Platinum, you can get these vehicles with massaging seats, front wheel drive, four wheel drive, premium leather, premium sound systems, or again, if it, wants to be a, it needs to be a little more of a utilitarian vehicle, you can get into that XLT at a really good price point and still, put six or seven people in the vehicle. Great styling on the front. If you jump towards the cockpit of the vehicle, the interior cabin, it's absolutely gorgeous. Front row, second row, and third row, six or seven passengers front wheel drive or four wheel drive with different drive modes, cameras all the way around. And again, that third row, you can have people sitting there or you can fold down for extra storage capacity. Now, if you want real mom points or dad points, you drive a Ford Expedition, capable of holding eight people comfortably. It's also built on the F-150 platform 
So it drives like a truck. You've got capable four-wheel drive, multiple different trim levels from a base all the way up to a limited or platinum. This is a limited behind me in the gorgeous white platinum tri-coat with the graphite uh, covered wheels. Absolutely gorgeous vehicle. Come take a closer look. If you want to drive a people hauler in style, this is what you drive. Now the Ford Expedition also comes in two different lengths. The regular length, which is what we have here, and then you can get the Ford Expedition Max, which is gonna give you an additional foot of cargo capacity behind this third row. And again, this third row can be folded flat for additional cargo capacity. You know, we've mentioned a few times the utilitarian effect of owning an SUV versus a minivan, and that's a good point to notice. The Ford Expedition, the Ford Explorer, and the Ford Flex all come with an available tow package from factory. You might be doing some summer activities or hitting the slopes on the weekend in the winter time, and you might need to tow something behind the vehicle, a small toy trailer, a small camper, or even something as big as a boat or a bigger live-in camper as well. The Ford Expedition built on the F-150 platform will tow upwards of 6,000 pounds, exceptionally capable for an eight passenger SUV. The Ford Explorer is gonna be more in the 4,000 pound range, and the Ford Flex is gonna be 2,500 to 4,000 pounds. Still very capable of towing some smaller boats and smaller toy trailers for your recreational activities in the summertime and the wintertime with your family. Now, whether you wanna get away from the minivan look or you're just looking for something different, I would highly encourage you to reach out to myself or one of our other sales professionals in the internet department here at Key West Ford in beautiful New Westminster, British Columbia. Contact us to set up a VIP test drive and take a closer look at the Ford Flex, the Ford Explorer, or the Ford Expedition. Again, my choice, eight passengers, full four-wheel drive capability, drives like a truck. I'm gonna go with the Ford Expedition every time.